Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Chook, is that you? No! F***ing Chook! Hey guys, Chook here with Chook's Outdoor Adventures. I got the chance to review an X5 Legion P320. Thanks to Long Windy Road, please check out his channel and subscribe. But it's been really interesting to watch him because he competes in these pistol leagues, Steel Challenge, and he started off with a Glock 34 that had a red dot on it, and he switched to this Legion, and I didn't realize that all of the competition industry has pretty much switched to this thing just because of the the game changing properties mainly the the tungsten infused polymer that makes it a really heavy gun and it hardly moves when you shoot it it was amazing shot like a 22 so just going through this gun it's got a changeable grip module and i like that it harks back to the days of the p250 which which i had one back in the day and i think that's really neat uh, the slide finish is legend legion gray pvd some people don't like that color i liked it i had a p229 legion i i, I like the finish on it 17 round capacity uh, comes with dawson precision sights uh, he added a Grey Guns trigger to it just to help him with competition. He also added a Go Gun USA gas pedal. He added a tungsten guide rod. The X grip module is tungsten fuse polymer. We talked about that. He's got mag extensions for it. It's got the slide cuts on top and he added a Romeo 3 Max optic on it. Now he's also got some other special aftermarket grip module he added to one of them. And I, it's interesting that he has two of them because uh, I guess these competition guys like to have two or three guns. They train with one and put a big round count on that. And then when they compete, they use another one. So it's kind of cool how he, he does that. He's even going to get a third one in case one of them goes out. I'm here with Long Windy Road, and he's let me review his P320, and both you have two of them for competition, right? So I do have two, just because of the high round count. I have one that I use for practice. This is actually my practice gun. Is that a Legion? This is a Legion X5. Legion X5, and you've got the red dot taped up. I have never seen that. So this is the SIG Romeo 3 Max, and uh -huh. I've got it taped with electrical tape because I just switched to irons okay. about four weeks ago. And what the tape does is it takes away your dominant eye picture and it forces you to target focus as you're learning the dot. So this actually works as well with irons. It's a little mm -hmm. harder. You have to put up tape in front of your front sight, but right. so I've actually been uh, doing all my dry fire practice since I switched to a red dot uh -huh. with the sight covered. Crazy. How can you, but you're not even looking at the sights with it covered, right? So what you're doing with target focus shooting, you're looking at the target uh -huh. and then you're bringing the dot up to the target. So in, instead of the inverse, which ah, most people do where they're focusing on the dot and trying to follow the dot into the target, right? the eye is quicker. So what you want to do is let your sights follow, uh, let your sights follow your eye picture, right? right? So um, it's working. I've done probably, I don't know, 20 dry fire sessions since I got this with the tape. Wow. And I'll just take the, I have the other gun set up for actually shooting matches and then I'll take the, that one just stays untaped. And, and that's tungsten and fused? polymer so this tungsten infused polymer this is a 43 plus ounce gun i actually have um the go guns gas pedal on here too so nice with a grip it gives you a shelf for your other hand your other thumb and allows you to control the, all different axes of the gun's movement right that's um, beautiful so that's for competition so this is what i'll shoot for practice for matches i'll use it for dry fire and then I just keep my other gun, which I'll show you just for shooting the matches. All right, let's see the match gun. Now it is also a Legion X5. 
Yes, the Legion X5 as well. But you've got a grip module on it. Yeah, so this is a Grey Guns uh, grip module. Wow. It's exactly the same grip module from SIG. They've just laser cut Wow. the stippling into it. You've got the gas pedal. So on this gun, I've got the gas pedal. I've got actually, you can't really see it, but there's a there's a steel insert in the back of the grip okay. that comes with SIG X5s. Uh -huh. And so I replace that with tungsten for added weight. Wow. And then I have a tungsten guide rod uh -huh. that I added. I also have, I didn't show you on the other gun, but I have, I replaced the lease, just uh, replaced the mag release with the Springer Precision Extended mag release. So what that does is you don't have to shift your grip at all to drop a mag. Nice. And then for this gun, I went with the SIG Romeo 3 XL wow. dot. And they have the same footprint, mm -hmm. the same height. The only difference is the, the um, shape of the, of the frame okay. around the optic. And so I got both because I wanted to see which one I like better. And for me, the jury's still out, but right. I love both the dots. I've had no problems with them. And I'm just really enjoying learning how to shoot. Awesome. Well, I dots. want to shoot this one that's got the open dot. And uh, it looks like a competition trigger. What's Does it just come with a stock trigger? So this, I still have the stock trigger on this. Uh, mm -hmm. I kind of asked around. A lot of people run the Grey Guns triggers. They run the SIG Armors triggers. Uh, for me, at my skill level, uh -huh. I don't think it makes much of a difference at this point because the stock okay. trigger is really good. Yeah. As is. It's like the flat SIG it, trigger. Yeah, flat face, skeletonized. It's got very little take up. It's got a pretty light break. I think it's three and a half pounds. Wow. Really good reset. I mean, I have no complaints. As I shoot it more, obviously it's gonna wear in and get even a little bit lighter and smoother. Uh-huh. So, and, and if you watch uh, YouTube Pops Quest channel, mm -hmm. he's a great competitor. Yep. He runs X5s and he said that the stock trigger is good to go. He waited, I think it was a year and a half before he switched out the trigger on his, so. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, let's shoot this bad boy. All right, go for it. This thing is beautiful. I would love one of these. Wow, I am famous for missing the steel and not dinging it, but that was like a ding almost every hit. Yep. It does the shooting for you. It's such a good gun. This thing is incredible. Wow, big fan. All right, check out LW Road. He's uh, He does competition and uh, I'm thinking about getting one of these. Yeah, you should for sure. That is sick, thanks man. Yeah. It's been really neat to watch that and just shooting it, like I said, was a dream. I would not mind having one of these. One consideration is I've always been a little bit critical of the P320s just because Do It Right has, has shot a lot of them. And, he, and he, he does high round counts. He likes to torture test his guns. And, you know, he said the P320s would start to fall apart after a couple thousand rounds, whereas Glocks and other guns do not as much. You know, some springs do need to be replaced. But this thing, you know, I don't shoot that many rounds out of my guns and I would absolutely get one of these. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's a really cool gun and it seems like it's a game changer in the industry. So please like, share, and subscribe and help me out on Patreon if you can. Thanks guys. It's Chook, your friend in the field. I like to trade my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Oh, look at Charlie Bear, but I don't care, I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out adventures.